Suicide's poetical. The disembowelment of Harry Carey leaves too much solemn ritual of blood and gore upon the floor. While the final leap of faith leaves you dangling above that overturned chair like some estranged participle, some Saint Vitus dance exclamation point. A shotgun blast is likely too noisy for your tender sensibilities, your woodsy, low-residency MFA ears. The sharp retorts and pointed projectiles, large and small, from firearms of every sort, leave too much blood upon the wall, are too similar to unnecessary punctuation. A sudden period, abruptly laid down, where an ampersand might have done, could have made the same point in parallel understatement. Or might poison be just your cup of tea, and prove just as swell when you have really had a bellyful? And what of the time-worn path of Sylvia Plath? If you fill all your rooms with gas, when those who never could care enough come to look for you, might it be just the thing if when they switch on the lights, the whole house blows up too.